Well, time to continue our efforts to crush everyone in this gym, I suppose. One man at a time. After all, this is one of the last running spots we have, besides, you know, uh, using the first Seeker. Okay, let's first go for Sleep Powder. Come on! I know it's 75%, but... Gosh darn, is, do these misses get me annoyed? I know I could I could have let off with uh, Venom, but it's so low level, I don't think he could even outspeed his Pokemon, potentially. Okay, we're gonna run Pamela out. After all, Pamela would love to do uh, a curse. Hopefully he doesn't know anything that can hurt us. Uh, so far, so good. You who woke up, it'd have to use Foresight first, unless it knows, like, a rock move. Just to screw with me. Okay, it does know Foresight. But, there's an easy counter here. We just, uh, switch over to I'm Cold. That way, the, uh, the fighting in normal type attacks just can't work. Though it looks like it did a self smack, so I didn't even have to switch. Darn. I didn't even have to share all this experience. Okay, we'll send out a uh, leech again. Let's just throw out the seeds. Like, I don't care about the submission or whatever it's gonna hit me with, it's not very dangerous. Okay, at least he gets all my health back. Let's switch in, uh, Pamela. Oh, right, I'd love to set up a curse. Okay. And curse, because he's gonna have to waste a turn now on, a uh, Foresight. And this way I can recover most of my health. Pokemon, um, shift again. After all, this will, uh, negate the vital throw. That's a suck when you go up against someone and they're like, oh, I got two ghost types, Foresight one, I just switched the other. Like, he would hate going to the, the tower, man. Okay, let's send out Leech. After all, we can't use Killer, because submission itself will destroy it. Um, Leech Seed. This is why being pure water type would be so much better. Well, I'll give it credit, that does do a set amount of damage, so it's probably one of the best moves it's used so far. Okay, send out Pamela, just don't have to worry about Seismic Toss. Force out, you know, another foresight. How are you being outsped by this thing? Jeez. That's just sad. Okay, let's switch over to I'm Cold and dodge whatever final throw or revenge it's gonna hit us with. Okay. Almost dead. Hit with a Confuser, I guess, and just finish it off. Because you already know it's going to have to use Foresight, so it doesn't matter. Like, either it'll sell smack or, you know, it'll die from status conditions. Okay, pressing up to level 33. Go us. I know. So sad. Okay. Can't go that way. Okay, I want to try and uh, avoid some of these trainers if I can. That way, you know, I only have to deal with uh, like one tough fight potentially. 
Oh, okay, this isn't even gonna be a tough battle. Obviously, we'll drop the seeds on it. Take a submission hit, not very effective. It'll give itself a little recoil. We'll bounce back to about where we were. Then we'll switch in Pamela. After all, it's gonna have to foresight us. So I can easily get a curse off. Yep, cutting our own HP is fine though. And I'll get me choking up at spot. Let's do a quick switch out, because it's not like it has pursuit to punish me. Revenge will do butt kiss. Then let Leech Seed and Curse, you know, take it out. Okay. Oh. At least we're a better fighter now. By uh, getting a little bit more uh, experience there. Okay. Let's take on uh, this guy, I suppose. So far, what we've seen, the cool trainers tend to have the largest teams here. And Arbok, huh? Well, it's probably gonna go for Glare afterwards, too. Screw it, just throw Leech Seed at it. Acid, huh? Well, Sleep Powder. Then try and set up a... A Corral Light, maybe? Ugh. We can hit a little bit. Then send in a uh, lapis. Like we resist poison moves. We aren't immune to poison, but that's fine. Because we can buy time for some defense curls. Okay, up those defenses so when it does wake up, it can't do anything too bad to us, hopefully. Ah, going for glare, gotcha. I really don't care if I'm paralyzed. I mean, my main job here is just to waste time. Yes, yes, being paralyzed doesn't do anything about that. Like, seriously, why doesn't he go for... Um... A damaging move or something? Plus, now I can't be poisoned. Making the choice and the options here even worse. Okay, that's better. Trying to do a bit of para flinching there. A uh, Tauros, huh? Well, send in Pamela. I don't know if this thing's gonna know any dark type moves or not. It might have bite. Well, let's just get the cowgirl. Oh, use pursuit. Great. So it used a really weak move. But that's fine. I, I achieved my main goal here. At this point, it's effectively doomed. Like, between this and the, the Leech Sea, it's, it's, it's over. Though I guess a few growls would also help too, right? Dude, you ain't chasing me out, and... Pursuit's not going to do enough damage to matter. Just put you back to sleep and let, you know, all the stas effects deal with you. <sighs> yep, from king of the arena to basically a nobody. That's the story of Tauros, unfortunately. Well, I'll take care of this episode. Next time, you know, we'll uh, take care of the last cool trainer in here. Until then, see ya.